Hello and welcome to the 5 minute video series. Today we will be talking about photography for your new web design. Let's start with our outline. Why hire a professional photographer? We're going to go over why professional photography is the best. Who do you hire? How do you prepare for your photo shoot? What different photo settings would you want to be ready to have your photographer take photos of? Well, how are you going to deliver your photos to Acorn? What, how will you organize those photos that you deliver to Acorn? We will talk about how you can request where each photo goes on the new design. And we'll also go over alternatives for photography. Now, let's go through why professional photography is best. Well, the public is drawn to eye candy images and the prettier the site is, the more likelihood that your, your guest is going to stay and look around your site and hopefully potentially book with you. We have seen statistics show that new web design combined with professional pho photos actually reduce the bounce rate. That's a bounce rate is a person who comes to your website and then walks away without looking any further than the page they landed on. And our customers continue to tell us again and again that compared to their old website, with amateur photos, they increase their overall yearly bookings once the new website goes live. Now, who do you hire? It is best to hire an experienced professional. You want to review samples of their work. You want to visit websites that have incorporated their photography. You need to talk to innkeepers who have used those professionals. Now, how do you get ready for the photographer to come take the photos? Well, first, you want to clean each room thoroughly. You want to make sure windows and mirrors are all dust free. You may need to update your decor with new curtains or bedspreads, lamps, paints, wallpaper, whatever's necessary to make everything look fresh. Only use fresh flowers and less is truly more. You need to remove excess clutter. And also it's a good idea to get a prop list from the photographer in advance so you can have all the items ready and organized on the day of the shoot. And remember, only shoot staging so shots that actually correspond with what you provide for your guests. Photography settings. Let's talk about the exterior. The exterior of the house and the property and, and the grounds is very important. People want to see the outside of the inn. Now, we, both vertical and horizontal shots are good for exterior photos. Common areas, maybe you have porches or decks or a living room or a media room, hot tub, pool. Whatever common era, areas that are available for your guests should be um, part of your photographer's schedule. Your guest rooms are a must. You want full room shots if they have a sitting room, maybe small vignette shots like a robe on the bed or breakfast in bed or chocolates on a pillow, whatever suits um, your particular inn. Then remember your guest bathrooms. Get the best shots of each of your guest bathrooms, things like your tub or your steam shower. Both vertical and horizontal shots are good. And remember, food is another thing that your guests are going to want to see. So you might want to include photos of the dining room or plated meals or place settings. And finally, don't forget your destination. If you have area attractions or activities, things in the area to do, or if you've got great views, make sure that your photographer gets some shots of the area that your guests are going to be coming to. Now, how do you deliver your photography to Acorn once it's been taken. Well, photos must be full size, high, the highest resolution possible, minimum width of 1023 for horizontal and the minimum height of 1023 for vertical. Large, larger size imagery is fine. Do not let the photographer crop or alter the size of the shot. They may clean the shot, but don't let them crop it or size it. JPEG is our preferred format. Photos must be provided on a CD and shipped via U.S. mail to P.O. Box 1602 Colorado Springs, Colorado 80901. If you prefer, we, may, we are also able to provide you FTP access. 
Finally, the name of the customer must be written on the CD itself. And once the CD is in the mail, please make sure your pre-development manager knows, it, knows that it's on its way. Photos must be organized in each file named accordingly to its room or location. So let's talk about photo organization. How do you organize your photos? Well, they need to be organized in one of two acceptable ways. One is all your photos may be loaded into one single directory on your CD or they may be loaded into multiple directories. The multiple directory is the ACORN preferred method. You need to share these requirements with your photographer before the photo shoot so they may name and store the files properly for shipping to ACORN. And remember, please do not ship images as part of your photo CD that you do not want to have appear on your website. Now, let's look at the single directory. A single directory is where you load all of your photos into one root directory. You need to name them carefully. Name all of your exterior shots. If they're horizontal, note that they are, and then name them one, two, three, or you might say horizontal outside house one, horizontal, in, you know, outside house two, horizontal, um, exterior vertical. You want to name them so that the programmer can easily identify what those photos are. Now the multiple directory method which we prefer is multiple directories that hold the photos for each of those areas. So all of your exterior photos would be in one directory name so we know they're, whether they're horizontal or vertical and all of the breakfast photos would be in your breakfast directory, all of your guest room photos in the guest room directory and so on. That way it will speed up the development time because our developers won't be hunting around for the photos and trying to figure out which are horizontal and which ones are the guest rooms and which bathrooms go with which guest rooms. If you organize them well it will reduce the time it takes to develop the site and ultimately the cost. Now, not acceptable photo delivery. Now, if you send your photos, as I have them listed below, there will be an additional charge for us to work with you to get them into one of the two acceptable formats. See, these ones don't tell us anything. We don't know that DSCN001 JPEG. We don't know if that's the outside of the house or we don't even know what that is. So the file names need to be organized so that we know that they're bedroom photos or exterior photos or bathroom photos. All right, customer requested photo placement. Customers who wish to identify which photos go on specific pages, you may tell us that information by filling out the appropriate forms so that we can match each web page with the photos that you want on that page. So you can be as highly involved as you would like in placing the photos that you've had taken. You may also choose to say, hey, let the developer pick where the photos go and which pages to put them on. It's your choice, but if you want to be involved, we are happy to have you involved. Now, alternatives. When you simply cannot get a photo taken that you need to use, we can also look for an appropriate shot on Dreamstime. Dreamstime is a royalty-free piece of software where the photos are out there that we can purchase to use on your site. Now, as part of your bid, we will purchase up to three of these images for your site at no additional charge. If you need more than that, we can look at the cost of those additional images. And also, Dreamstime is just one of many royalty-free pieces of software. We just tend to like working with this company. Um, we've been using it for a few years, and it works really well. All right, that pretty much covers our photography video. Thank you for joining us.